Uh, for an afternoon game, had some pace, had some physical play. Assess your team's effort. Well, I mean, first 10 minutes, we were good. I think after that, uh, we, we lost battles. And uh, we didn't do the things that, the, you know, you don't get power plays because you don't make them pull you down or do anything, anything wrong. Those things are going to happen. I uh, thought our goalie was really good today. I think he saved our bacon in the second period when it could have been probably uh, a score of a little bit worse than, than it was. Um, but, you know, we've got we've to come to play every game. We can't be satisfied with a 5-1 uh, victory every once a week here. Uh, so, well, I'll get back to the drawing board tomorrow and see where it goes. Well, uh, before the icing, it's, it's in your own zone. How, how displeased with, you, with the play in terms of kind of uh, being late to chant, late to pucks and everything? It's just yeah, they outworked us. Yeah. And in the second period, you could tell that they were the hungrier team. And, uh, you know, I mean, uh, that's, that's why we called the timeout. You know, to try to say, okay, listen, let's let's get out of this period, and which was the goal, zero zero, and then hopefully in the third period that we could, I could say something in here that would light a fire under them. But uh, uh, obviously they scored five seconds after the after the timeout, and uh, and then they scored ten seconds later. The, uh, th that, that breakdown in coverage, uh, you have to be upset about. I mean, not just even the turnover, the second goal. The, uh... Well, the second goal, looking at it, I mean, the coverage, it was, you know, Nino was trying to kick it back to Broads, but Broads, I don't know what he was thinking of getting right into the end of the play, and then uh, Fullen should have come across and at least taken him out instead of let him get to, let him get to the middle of the ice. I mean, uh, it was a mistake by a few people in that play. How concerning was it after limiting shots for so many games, three games in a row, to give up as many as you did today? You, know, you think you're going to do that every game? Keep teams to 19 shots? It's not going to happen. This building, this team shoots from everywhere. They shoot everything, and uh, they're going to get they're going to get their shots. If you can hold Nashville to 18, 19 shots in in their building, it means they didn't come to play. Knowing what you guys have been through, how important is a big bounce back effort tomorrow, regardless of who you're playing? Yeah, I, we don't, we can't take anybody lightly. I mean, uh, so I mean, <clears throat> they're going to come in. They're they're coming in off a win against St. Louis, so they're pretty hungry and and pretty excited. And uh, we got to come to play. I mean, uh, you know, we got we got five, four games left. We we've got to play them, play them all hard, and then and then hopefully that we can be consistent uh, come two weeks from now. Did you just figure starting Stalock just get Dubnik another day, considering the way that you guys played the other day? Yeah, I thought three practices would be good for him and uh, three skates. And uh, I thought Stalock, quite frankly, you know, I mean, the Ottawa game wasn't uh, it wasn't that difficult for him. And I knew this game would be difficult. I wanted to see him under these conditions, and he played really good. How, how much would you like to see Dubnik uh, tomorrow really show what he's well, made of? Of course, I'd love to see that. We'll see.